Good day sa ating mga mata-aral. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay tungkol sa geometric series. Geometric series is the sum or the result of adding the terms of a geometric sequence. Meron tayong dalawang formulas. So yung una ay S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity of 1 minus R raised to N all over 1 minus R where r should not be equal to 1. Since kapag naging 1 ang r, 1 minus 1 ay 0. And any number divided by 0 is undefined. Kumbaga, sa calculator yan ay syntax error. Ang formula na to ay ginagamit if the last term is not given. Ang pangalawa, s sub n is equal to a sub 1 minus a sub n or the last term times r over 1 minus r where r is not equal to 1. Kapareho lang din ang explanation yon. So yung letter B ginagamit naman kapag ang last term ay given. Sa formula, S refers to the sum and the number of terms. A sub 1 is the first term. A sub n is the last term, then R is the common ratio. Example number 1, find the sum of the first 7 terms of the sequence 5, 15, 45, 135. I-identify natin yung given. So yung number of terms natin ay 7. A sub 1, the first term is 5, common ratio, 15, Divided by the first term, 5. So, 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Ngayon, isolve natin ang sum gamit ang formula na S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity of 1 minus R raised to N over 1 minus R. So, S sub N7 is equal to A sub 1 is 5 times the quantity of 1 minus common ratio natin I 3 raised to N which is 7 over 1 minus R is 3. So 5 times 1 minus 3 raised to 7 ay 2,187 over 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Then 5 times 1 minus 2,187 is equal to negative 2,186 divided by negative 2. Ngayon, 5 times negative 2,186. Kapag nag-multiply na magkaiba ang sign, ang product ay negative. So, negative 10,930 over negative 2. Kapag nag-divide naman na magkapareho ang sign, ang quotient ay positive. So, negative 10,930 over negative 2 is equal to positive 5,465. So, ang S sub 7 natin ay 5,465. Kung gusto nyo i-check kung tama yung sagot, pwede nyo gamitin yung isa pang formula kanina or kaya long addition. Provided na yung next 3 terms ay given. So, kunin muna natin yung next 3 terms. 1, 3, 5 times the common ratio of 3 is 405. Ito yung fifth term natin. Next, 405 times 3 ay 1,215. Then, last term, 1,215 times 3 ay 3,645. Sa basic long addition, kailangan lang i-add up from 5 to 3,045. So, yun ay 5 plus 15 plus 45 plus 135 
plus 405 plus 1,215 plus 3,645. Dapat ang sum ay equal sa 5,465. Gamit yung pangalawang formula, S sub N is equal to the first term minus the last term times common ratio over 1 minus the common ratio. Substitute natin, S sub 7 is equal to A sub 1 is 5 minus last term natin ay 3,645. Times common ratio of 3 over 1 minus common ratio is 3. So, 5 minus the product of 3,645 and 3 is 10,935 over negative 2. Since 1 minus 3 is Negative 2. 5 minus 10,935 is equal to negative 10,930 over negative 2. Negative 10,930 divided by negative 2 is equal to 5,400. 65. Pareho lang ang sum gamit yung dalawang formula including yung sa long addition. Example number 2. Find the sum of the first 6 terms of the sequence. 2, negative 8. 32, negative 128. Given number of terms is 6. A sub 1 is 2. The first term. Common ratio is negative 8. Divided by positive 2, which is equal to negative 4. Isolve natin ang sum gamit ang formula na S sub N is equal to the first term times the quantity of 1 minus common ratio raised to the number of terms over 1 minus the common ratio. S sub 6. Where n is equal to 6 is equal to a sub 1 is 2 times 1 minus ang common ratio ay negative 4 raised to n is 6 over 1 minus r is negative 4. Then simplify natin. 2 times 1. 1 minus negative 4 raised to 6 is equal to positive 4,096 over 1 minus negative 4. Pag nagma-minus, all integers change the sign then proceed to addition. So, 1 plus 4 ay 5. So, 2 times 1 minus 4,096 is equal to 4,095 divided by 5. So, 2 times negative 4,095. Kapag nagmumultiply na magkaibang sign, ang product ay negative. So, yan ay negative 8,190 over 5. In negative 8,190 over 5 is equal to negative 1,638. So, ang sum ng first 6 terms ng 2, negative 8, 32, negative 128 ay negative 1,638. I-check natin yung sum gamit ang long addition. So, kunin muna natin yung next two terms. Negative 128 times negative 4. Kapag nagmumultiply na magkaparehong sign, ang product ay positive. So, yan ay 500 or positive 512. Then, 512 times negative 4 is negative 
2048. Para sa long addition, i-combine muna natin lahat ng positive. 2 plus 32 plus 512 ay equal sa 546 plus yung sum ng negative numbers such as negative 8 plus negative 128 plus negative 2048 yan ay equal sa negative 2184 then 546 plus negative 2184 dahil magkaiba ng sign, isubtract, then take the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. So, yan ay negative 1,638. Ngayon, paano naman kung ang common ratio ay positive 1? So, hindi na natin gagamitin yung formula na binigay ko kanina. Instead, ang formula natin ay S sub N is equal to the number of terms times A sub 1. Kasi so, multiply yung number of terms sa a sub 1. Ngayon, kailan nagiging positive ang ratio or common ratio? Yun ay kapag ang terms ay pare-pareho. Number 3, the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence, 6, 6, 6, 6, so on is s sub 10, which is the number of terms, is equal to n, 10, times the first term is 6. Then, 10 times 6 is 60. Number 4, ganun din yung gagawin natin since ang common ratio ng negative 11, negative 11, negative 11, and so on ay positive 1. Ngayon, ang sum ng first 7 terms of this sequence is S sub 7 is equal to the number of terms 7 times the first term is negative 11. So, 7 times negative 11 is equal to negative 77. Ngayon naman, paano kung ang common ratio ng geometric sequence ay equal sa negative 1? So, ang sum ay either 0 or equivalent sa first term. Yan ay depende sa number of terms kung yan ay even or odd. Pag sinabing even, lahat ng numbers na divisible by 2. Kapag odd, lahat ng numbers na hindi pwedeng ma-divide ng 2. So, according dito, ang sum ay equal sa 0 if the number of terms is even. Then, second, the sum is equal to the first term if the number of terms is Odd. Ang common ratio ay negative 1 kung ang terms or opposite numbers ay arranged in alternate position. For example, 3 and negative 3, positive 3, negative 3. Ang ratio ng negative 3 at 3 ay negative 1 since negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. Ganun din sa number 6. 12 divided by negative 12 is equal to negative 1. Since dividing two numbers with unlike signs, their quotient is negative. Number 5. The sum of the first eight terms of positive 3, negative 3, positive 3, negative 3, and so on is equal to 0. Since the number of terms is 8, which is Even. Ngayon, para ma-check kung tama yung sagot natin, pwede naman natin ituloy yung terms. So, meron tayong uh, positive 3 plus negative 3 plus positive 3 plus negative 3. So, 8 terms na lahat yan. Ngayon, combine lahat ng positive numbers. So, 3, 6, 9, 12. Positive 12 plus i-combine lahat ng negative numbers. Negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3 is equal sa negative 12. Now, 12 plus negative 12 is 0. Since adding opposite numbers is equal to 0. Number 6, the sum of the first 5 terms of negative 12 
plus 12 plus negative 12 plus 12 is equal to the first term which is negative 12 since 5 is an odd number. Ngayon, gaya rin ng sabi ko kanina, pwede natin i-check by completing the number of terms. So, meron na tayong 4. One more. So, ang next term ay negative 12. Ngayon, combine lahat ng negative numbers. So, yan ay negative 12 plus negative 12 plus negative 12 is negative 36 plus 12 and 12. Lahat ng positive numbers. Ang sum ay 24. Ngayon, kapag nag add ng integers na magkaiba ng sign, sinasubtract sa ay 12. Then, take the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. Ang sign nun ay negative. So, ang sagot ay negative 12, which is the value of the first term. So, yun yung sum.